careful in the mountains. Falling is awful. Landing is worse. Heads up, that's Peak Spot, a great place to watch the world. Who knows who might be watching you? Get things done before the darkness falls again. Hey there, Crusher. Flex those arms. You need to get the keys in sequence. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Sometimes no message is a message. You need to get the keys in sequence. So, the technology from yesterday's is still here today, even if its message is getting old.
Just be care-filled as you wander the woods. Gizmo wants to help if he can. That's the leftover you're looking for. You're maybe not sure you want to leave. He says that's enough to get the Mekton functional. You'll have an engine, a fuel soaker, a gun and a gathering net, but no armor, nor enough oxygen supply. He made a suction device so the Mekton can use the black tar as an instant refuel. You can also use it to clear oily goo puddles, so you can pass and access hard to get to areas. He's been working on another project for the Mekton, a cannon, but it needs ammunition, and by that he means the scripts. He says if they're trained right, they'll turn into a distraction for the Jumbo Puff. The best way to find scripts is to go talk to Moog. 
He knows the ins and outs of every breathing thing left alive after the apocalypse. Unfortunately, this means you'll have to venture farther out into the dead zone than Moog's camp on the steep depot. Once you find Moog, he'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find Squips. Gizmo thinks he's a little peculiar, but very knowledgeable. He has the ins and outs of all monster and creature whereabouts. The Grease Monkey's Mecton is built sturdy, just like himself. Squint into the oncoming light. This is the way to travel. Might want to hold your breath before you head any further. You're about to witness the breathtaking vistas of what's known as the Dead Zone. Imagine that. You could just go to a place like this to get a proper meal back in the old world. Soft. can see a lot farther now than at night.
you're the scrap monster now. Pointed in the right direction. Time to do it on your own. Don't let the dark time take you. Bullets everywhere. A great thing even better. There's a place and time for everything, but for that city scenario, it's already come and gone. Time to walk on your own legs. A Mekton makes such a long-legged ride. Feel that power.
Bang Shelter 7B is still there, open and ready to shelter. to do anything without air. Ronky Stomper. A wonderful way to travel. Let's see.
It's Skypook Outpost. The Ankati tribe blew life into that ages ago. Let's see. Cautions you that they're aware you're allied to another tribe. Hopes you're selling too. They're always looking to replenish their store. There's no way they'll do that. They're smarter than you think. They won't. They won't buy into you. The sun's a long ways away. Smell that burning fuel. Chill here makes you shiver a bit. Let's see.
kumwayu ila na wewe eh kemela ze Climbed right in. That over there is Steepo Depot, the cliffside that Moog hangs on to. Put that thing behind you. But see in more. Diava. Let's see. Strange how the trees are still so full of life. This one's impressed to see you out here. He figured you'd be dead by now. Not many are as tough and clever as you must be. In more. Claims he goes after the most dangerous game, huge monsters. In more. Mook says that all your power doesn't do you a bit of good if you're not willing to pull the trigger when the time comes. Choosing what to kill and what to spare are the most important decisions you'll make. You might have a steady aim, but you need to be sure that you pick your targets with care. It's hard to make those life or death decisions for others, but someone's got to do it. Otherwise, they'll do it themselves and you know they'll miss. When it comes to monsters, he mostly picks who dies. Worries that when the world dies, there won't be any monsters left. What will he shoot then? Wonders why you work so hard to keep things alive. Bullets help thin the herd instead. Approves of you working with the Jagni. They have the hunting spirits of a flock of hawks. Enjoys it when he gets the chance, though they're not much good against monsters. But enough of that, right? He says the wildlife, nature, has changed and turned against us. Instincts of survival took over when the world changed. He's not sure about their veggie diet anymore, and if it's changed, who knows what it's done with the chemical composition of their body output. Right now, though, he feels he's come to a point where he's got a pretty clear idea on the whereabouts of monsters, both tall and short. Kalba. Says as big as they are, the world is bigger. To find where they are, you need to see where they've been. Moog says you must learn to walk before you can run. It takes practice before you can call yourself a monster hunter. Fortunately for you, he can help. He understands you need to start off with something small before you go big. There's no better place to start than a squip cave. Hunting down a couple of these little critters for yourself should keep you on your toes. Says you stick to the haunting and shots present themselves later.
Who would be dumb enough to get in your way? A mobile fortress. Wait, it's the Squip hole up. Place is just filled with critters. Boom. Don't give up now. Watch out for drop-offs. They can surprise you down here. Stay away from that biohazard. You'll want to wash yourself off for a month. Need a key. Once the volatilization from the nuclear waste evaporated, a volatile gas rose through the soil and infested structures, even Toxanol's own buildings. So, in a way, they caused their own death. Yeah, go knock the lid off that sludge truck. It'll fill the place up and you can get up to that entrance there. It's a bit less black out there.
you need to line up the switches so they match. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Subtle it is not. That ain't bad. Sure you know how to motivate this? He says that's enough squips to sustain the Mecton's claw crane cannon with infinite ammunition. Well done. It's not his cleanest invention so far, but it gets the job done. Use it to suck up gooey oil puddles in the Mecton's way so you can pass. Gizmo's made vehicles before to confront the Jumbo Puff himself, but failed. But this time, it's different. The Mecton will be strong enough to do the job. It's time to put a stop to the World Eater now, otherwise he fears the damage it's caused to the tree already will be too much to handle. He asks you to not even think about taking on the Jumbo Puff on foot. You will need the Mecton to do the job, take his word for it. There's time to improve the Mecton before you confront the Puff there are more wreck boxes out in the dead zone with gear you should be able to equip the Mecton with on your... He got the idea to build the Mecton when he found a big crate containing the metal frame for something Toxanol had named an exoskeleton. Gizmo wants to help if he can. Understands...
In the old world, roads like this really led somewhere. Echinye. Kuali. Moog asks if you know the first rule of monster haunting. It's to go where the monsters are. To haunt, you must know the grounds of your prey. Few monsters warrant the fear we have for them. And you don't look like someone that's easily scared. You could help him out. Start with one monster and take it from there. Spot its tracks and report back. Also, bring back any poo you find. His friend Boom has a nose and a use for that. Tomozakula Imabella. Says you're right. You gotta catch them all. The shadows are getting so small. Hear that? Misses the dark. No one misses the dark. You do every time you come at me. Well, there's always next time. Getting dimmer by the minute. Bark wood scrap for you. The Bully Bull Glade is beautiful. Watch out for Jumble. Balani? Let's see. He'd heard about you blending your way into the world, but he'd feared you might stew in your own juices instead. Tells you to ask anyone and know that if they say yes, they're good, honest souls. He wonders what you're going to do now that you've grown so tough and strong. Will you feed the world or watch it starve? You smell fresh and ready, like the kind of person who values nutrition and how it gives you life. He tells you that you are what you drink, so if you want to be good, drink wholesome. Otherwise, the junk will hollow you out inside. Thinks life is full of all sorts of ingredients. It's up to you what to put into your blender and your body. And if you are what you drink, what happens to you when you choose different things? But you would think that, wouldn't you? Wishes the world wasn't drying up and fading away. There's so little worth mixing now. Says he's impressed with how hard you've tried to make things decent and tasty again. Claims he's not thrilled about you working with the Jagni, 
They sold him some bad seeds once, and it left a bad taste in his mouth. Says bad seeds make for bad plants. Bad all the way down the line. Thinks you should get your convo cooking. He's curious if you've ever had soup tastier than life itself. If not, you've come to the right place. He's widely known for his jumble juice. His thoughts are like his juice, all jumbled up in his mind. Those who claim to know him even call him Jumble. Can you believe it? He needs more customers to claim that they know him. He promises to look after you if you look out for something for him. Figures it's one thing to be a great cook, but that's not so useful if no one knows to drink your juice. Jumbo wants you to keep your eyes peeled for a band of color that brightens with the sun after it rains. He's on the hunt for a concentrate of that prismatic refraction of sunlight forming in tasty droplets of rain in the sky. Find the concentrate he's looking for where the color hits the ground. Bring it back and he'll mix a jumble juice to share. Promises that you've never had anything like it. Come to think of it, no one else has either. Don't get swept away in the rain. It's Nanby, a new village for you. The vendor. Shop, shop. Let's see. The day is dawning. Says it's bad enough the tree of life is keeling over. Now they have flies infesting their crops. They need your help to drive those flies away before the crops... Says there's a giant bellows you could use to blow them away. Asks if you can see that giant bellows over there. If you could point it in the right direction and then jump on it. Figures if you help save them, you deserve a reward. 
That's so dark, I love it! The dark would never love you back! Of course it can! All the dark love you want! All I want? Well, that would be zero! Fine by me. You get zero love then. Zero. Heroes make for the best stories. It's up to you if you want to be one. Cutting edge. where it counts. Rubber scrap, great for when you need a bit of flex. Put a key in that. Plenty of firepower right there.
could be easy to get lost down here. Glad you covered that up. That's more like it. That'll do just fine. Mook says he's found keys in fluff dung before and always wondered what they'd unlock. Discover the rest and you'll find more keys. There's plenty of poo to go around. 
Car il n'y a pas d'info rouge ou d'eau. Mook says you did good on that last monster. He hopes you have time to help him seek out the next one. Madame Wakumo Nash Vaya. It's not too far away. It shouldn't take you as long as the previous one. But that's no reason to waste time. If you keep at the haunt, you'll round them all up in no time. Hard to find any shadows now. Correct, and we can always make more. There has to be a way to stop that. Turn off the lights. No shadows then. That's not what I meant. Circa full of in the horse. Moog appreciates your company. Garota, We'll be around when you return. Be gentle, this mount's a breather. This is a spark plant, a place where they make the zap sparks for your go juice needs. No time to graze, let's go. This is a spark plant, a place where they make the zap sparks for your go juice needs. Doesn't look good for our story. Mm. 
pick up the pace race. There's a pingfish here, just the thing for signal. Paid off. Don't flinch away from us. It's your moon. You need to focus. To get the ping dish to work, you need to line up the pong paddles for a prop. Just a few moves left. Make them count. That's a match. Now you can ping all the dishes you like. Spin that paddle to turn the ping dish properly. No pings there, only pongs. No pings there, only pongs. Pingity ping ping, you found a trans message. You need to point its face in the right direction.
at various stages of life, we all become memories for others, and just seeing someone acts as a catalyst for the past to seep in again. Memory distortions are troubling. Illusions your mind creates to avoid the memories of being bullied as a kidling. However, there's no doubt that what you remember makes your future different. Good thing you recalled how to activate the automaton's health injector. That will be useful. seem to have made a new friend. Bang Shelter 10E. Toxin put these all over the place. All things end. Super effective. Feels like a monster's lair down here.
sharp dressed. Darkness makes you miss the light. Hat. You look civilized. Surprised that worked. There's something special about that blade. Toxanol built motor juice stations like that one all over the place. The fumes filled the sky.
This mound has quite a bounce to it. This is a spark plant, a place where they make the zap sparks for your go juice needs. That's an improvement. There's a lot on the line here. Fists of Fury. Not too shocking to find a notice board here. Just sad to think of all those unanswered questions. Can you feel your fur standing on end? There's a spark plant not too far from here. This place used to make power for the Toxanol Corporation. Clogged the sky and water too. They always seemed to figure they'd find more of it somewhere. While you're looking out for sparks, see if you can find a track, too.
Gotta try the key to see. Even more impressive. Lockety locked. Not opening for you. Schon. Moog says he's impressed. That's another monster pinned down. Gar. Moog says that thanks to you, he has the monsters mapped out now. In Once he gets the word out, your friends and allies will know what and where to avoid. He guesses you're thinking the exact opposite, and you're still eager to find more. Figures you can make good use of that impulse around here. Moog's glad you keep coming back. A sealed deal. Uh. <laughs> 
life of Kaigo. Moog's glad you keep coming back. Hopes to see.